Kafka Jaffe is ascorbic acid and vitamin C the same? What is the difference? Very good question. And the simple answer is that nature's ascorbate is superior. Nature's ascorbate means fully buffered, fully reduced, all L ascorbate. Most of what you get from the shelf that says ascorbic acid or vitamin C has been made in air and oxygen has damaged it. If you look at what's in the capsule or the tablet, there's some vitamin C, but there's mostly dehydroascorbic acid and diketogulonic acid, which are degradation products, and they're not nature's vitamin C. So I have been emphasizing in a variety of formats the importance of nature, nurture, and wholeness, the importance of using nature's forms. In order to accomplish this, we have to prepare the ascorbate under a nitrogen blanket. High tech produces nature's vitamin C. And we have had this since the late 1980s. We recommend what's called a C-cleanse to personalize how much ascorbate you might need. But the more ascorbate you decide to take, the healthier you are likely to be. One of my many mentors, Linus Pauling, recommended near the end of his life that people take 18 grams a day of vitamin C to counteract the anti-nutrients, the toxic metals, the harmful pro-oxidative anti-nutrients, the forever molecules. That's what we would call them today. But he anticipated this onslaught of harmful chemicals, which require nature's ascorbate to help chaperone them out of the body. So ascorbate, nature's ascorbate, can wrap around toxic metals and safely remove them in urine, sweat, and stool. Nature's ascorbate contributes electrons and picks up electrons. It's a very elegant, smart, multifaceted molecule. People have devoted whole lifetimes to studying the different aspects of ascorbate, and I have tried to learn from them. And what it comes down to for you as an individual is check the ascorbate you need based on the C-cleanse and follow through on a comprehensive lifestyle epigenetic optimization personalized care program. Maybe consider doing four self-assessments, which include uh, checking your ascorbate. So let me be very clear, because just recently it's come into controversy again, because if you use a degraded or harmed form of vitamin C, you don't get the same benefit or anywhere near the benefit that you get from nature's ascorbate. Fully buffered, fully reduced, all L-ascorbate to the rescue of many, many biological systems from the battery of the cell to the cell membrane itself. Ascorbate plays a role in recycling, regenerating, sparing, enhancing almost every other antioxidant. Ascorbate is the best friend of making glutathione, making more and better and using glutathione in the reduced form, not in the oxidized form. Ascorbate is the principal molecule in biology that accomplishes that. Alton Meister in the 1980s showed that. And I have been privileged to follow the story of nature's forms of nutrients and found them superior, more bioavailable and safer, more effective. They deliver results promptly and consistently 
better than, shall we say, the damaged, harmed forms. So this is Russ Jaffe, Dr. Russell Jaffe. I am a biochemist as well as a physician. I am a researcher and I'm cross-trained in a number of different disciplines, all of which have led me to great respect for the central role of ascorbate, nature's ascorbate, in life and biology. It's that important. And now's the time for you to find out how much you need currently and to keep up on a weekly basis, checking in on your ascorbate need in order to stimulate repair, in order for inflammation to be banished, in order for cardiorenal health to be enhanced, in order for the brain of the central nervous system and the gut nervous system to communicate more effectively. Ascorbate plays an important role in all of that. And then in biological detoxification, it's at the front of the class. So nature's ascorbate, yes. Other forms of ascorbate, take a pass.